In this video, I'll explain how to add job listing categories and custom listing fields. First of all, you have to define the structure of your job board website by adding listing categories to make it easier for users to navigate. In the case at hand, I'll add some listing categories that are common for most job board websites. For example, web development, digital marketing, and writing and editing. To add a new category, go to the Categories section. When adding a listing category, set a name for it. Then you can set a parent category if you want to turn it into a subcategory. This way you can add multiple category levels. Also, it's better to choose a category icon. When finished, simply click on the Add Category button. Keep in mind that there are no limits, so you can create as many listing categories as required for your job board website. In the same way, I'll also add more categories behind the scenes. Once you are done with listing categories, it's time to add some custom listing fields. By default, the listing form contains the basic fields like title and description, but HivePress allows you to add your own fields and search filters specific to the job board website you are building. Please note that in HivePress all items that are used as custom listing fields and search filters are called attributes. For example, let's take a look at the JobHive demo website and I'll show you what everything looks like. Ok, here we have listings. These fields are attributes. These search filters are also attributes and they are fully customizable meaning that you can create your own depending on your website niche. Let's come back to our website and add the first attribute. To add a new attribute, go to the Jobs, Attributes section and click Add New. For example, let's add a salary attribute so companies can indicate the salary for the positions they promote. First, set the attribute name and allow its front-end editing so it appears in the listing submission form. Here, set a unique field name used for storing the attribute values, and here select the field type. For the salary field, it's better to use the number type. In the search section, you can allow users to search and filter listings by the attribute value. Let's simply mark it as filterable, sortable, and select the search field type. I recommend using the number range so users can filter listings by the salary range instead of some specific value. Finally, you can define how the attribute value will look on the listing page by assigning it to certain template areas. I'll use the JobHive demo website to show you what I mean by template areas. If you want to display your attribute here, choose a block primary. If here, then choose the block secondary. Then, if you want to display your attribute here, Set a page primary and to display here, set a page secondary. So, let's choose some template areas. Now, you can set the display format for this attribute. You can use the replaceable tokens in the display format. Simply hover on the question icon to view the available tokens. I'll use this display format for this field. Please note that you can create category-specific fields by selecting a listing category here. It means that this attribute and search filter will be applied only to the listings within the chosen category. After you go through the attribute settings, simply click on the Publish button. That's it! We have just added the first attribute. Let's add one more. For example, Let's add the type attribute so companies can indicate whether they are looking for a full-time, part-time or a contract worker. To do that, click on the Add New button. Simply name the attribute, allow its front-end editing, set the field name and choose the field type. It's best to use the select type for this attribute. Next. Mark it as filterable and select the check boxes search field type. Finally, let's select the template areas for this attribute. Then, I'll set an icon for it 
and set its display format. Finally, click on the Publish button. Since it's a selectable attribute, it's necessary to define its options. To do this, click on the Edit Options button and add options that will be available for selection. For example, let's add full-time, part-time and contract options. That's it! In the same way you can add unlimited attributes. But please note that each subsequent searchable field may affect the search performance, so it's better to keep the number of search filters to a minimum. I'll also add a few more attributes by following the same steps, but I'll do this behind the scenes just to save your time. Alright, now we have the listing categories, fields and search filters, and we can move to the next video where I'll walk you through the HivePress settings.